Green open. I have a bunch. Green open. Now I'm free. Lodge grass. Oh, we're gonna lodge grass. Not a free. Pick one. Deep green. I will pick. I have zero pick. Do it. How do you feel? Hold draw for the top. Shane Reno. And that gives us a total of 13 senators present for April 8, 2013. Next item on the agenda is to recognize guests and visiting officials. At this time, we have a member of the three affiliated tribes, Mr. Ken Hall, who's here. We stand, Mr. Hall. We'd like to recognize you. If you'd like to give some uh, opening remarks, the floor is open to you as well. We'd like to address the, the senators. So at this time, the floor recognize Mr. Ken Hall from the three affiliated tribes. Thank you, uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Mr. Shane, and uh, mem members of the legislative branch. Uh, it's good to be in Crow Country. Uh, mm -hmm. As a kid, I always come out here for the Crow Fair, where a lot of my uh, uncles uh, used to rodeo. Uncle Merle Hall, Uncle Ed Hall, <coughs> Pete Fredericks, of course, Leslie Thornton, and Angus Fox, all of us there from Fort Worth. <coughs> And uh, of course, we go to the Powell afterwards. Watch the relative dance and the very singing dance. And I just was part of the uh, <coughs> Senator uh, C.J. Stewart invited me to come to the symposium that's going on this week. And I uh, just shared a few words with the, the audience on uh, some of our story back home with the oil boom that's going on at the Man Man Dallas and the Rick Roy Nation. And we all can learn from each other. We just had our, our uh, Indigenous Nations Economic Development Summit a few weeks ago. And our theme was nation to nation building through economic development. And I think the time has come where we as nations have to work together. And before where we'd have the non-Indians come in and show, showing us how to do, it, do this. But we have, we have educated people now. You guys have your own uh, members here that are PhDs in geology. You have attorneys here. The Navajo Nation, uh, there's a gentleman that's a petroleum engineer. Uh, we have geologists back home. The time has arrived, I think we can, we can uh, build our own. And, and uh, through nation to nation building, partnership like our ancestors used to do. 400 years ago we used to trade with my wife's tribe in Alberta, Canada. And so that was our theme this year. We had the 95 tribal nations, actually uh, 25 tribal nations, but we had 95 companies from the oil and gas industry. We had investors, we had guest speakers, we had na our national chiefs from Canada come to address our people. When you mentioned the Bakken oil play, everybody wants to, to be there. And I'm glad you guys are really honoring and recognizing our creator and governor. That's been long overdue. That's been long overdue. Where the, the government tries to take the creator out of schools, out of day to day business. There's even been uh, research done where they, they don't really acknowledge God in the schools anymore. But look what's happened since then. We had, at our school, at our elementary school, where my daughter goes, in our high school, we have a, a law enforcement officer fully equipped with a pistol that patrols our hallways at our schools. It's a new day over there. But I, I just wanted to say a few things, and I, I shared with the audience this morning about just get prepared for what you guys are going to do here. And don't forget about uh, you know the kids, because you have to have a balance of culture and development. You have to have a balance anytime you're going to create and, <clears throat> and grow and, and take that, take on economic development. You have to have a balance of culture and development, because um, a lot of those tribes will tell you. 
boom site in the wives back in the early 80s. They almost lost their complete identity as a people. And so at what risk and what are we going to risk and at what price are we going to pay to take these endeavors? So I always got to be mindful of that. And then the other thing that we talk about is responsible. But exercise our sovereignty as well. There's sovereignty <laughs> models out there. There's sovereignty models. The Southern Ute model is a sovereignty model. And that's what we're trying to follow. We can extract our own resources and get a bigger piece of the pie. So we can start to create things that are sustainable for generations. And so that's kind of the that's kind of the track we're on. Uh, Speaker of the House, the members of the legislative uh, legislative branch thinking about our future. We're trying to create things that will be sustainable for generations. And not just try to piece more things together, but create where they last for our kids and our kids. Because when you think about it, realistically, this boom we're experiencing is probably going to last for about 20, 30 years. 30 years, maybe. Most of us my age and older won't be around. But our kids and our grandkids will have to live in that. So we're focusing on what's the land going to look like? How about the air? And is there going to be clean water to drink? And that's all. And then your people. I like the state of your people. So there's always got to keep those things in mind as we move forward as a, as a nation or as nations. It's responsible development. But think uh, for the future. Wish you guys good luck with your, your sessions here today. And thank you for just a few minutes uh, speaking to the House and members of the legislation. It's good to be in the Crow Country, and uh, I'll be back soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Hall. Thank you very much. <laughs> so now the next item on the agenda is the review and adoption of the agenda. At this time, has everyone had a chance to look over the agenda? I'm going to call for a motion to modify the agenda to start with new business. For organized Senator Stewart of the Black District. Okay, we'll adopt the agenda first. Okay, I just been uh, corrected by the Secretary of the House. We need to adopt the agenda first and then we'll modify it. Motion to adopt. We have a motion to adopt by Senator Stewart. We have a second second by Senator Not Afraid of the Bighorn District. Question. A question by Senator Not Afraid of the Lodgegrass District. All those in favor of the motion of adopting the agenda, raise your right hand. Secretary of the House says 13. Sergeant in Arms, you have 13. All those opposed? All those abstaining? With a vote of 13, yes, zero no, zero abstain. Motion passes with a vote of 13. session before we adjourn at the end of the session so that way it would give us a chance to complete the journals and have your time to review it before we uh, approve them all right we have a motion on the floor to move uh, review and approval of the journals to the end of session we have a second by senator not afraid of the lodge grass district question by senator covers of the lodge grass district all those in favor of moving 
Reveal and approval of the journal to end the session. Raise your right hand. All those opposed? All those abstaining? With a vote of 13 yes, zero no, zero abstain. Motion carries. So review and approval of the journal for February 1st, 2013, special session, March 5th, 2013, special session, March 6th, 2013, special session will be moved to the end of the session, of the April session. Do we have any more motions pertaining to the agenda? Floor recognized Senator Not Afraid of the Lodgegrass District. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, members of the body, honored guests, members of the executive branch. I guess I have one question, um, Mr. Speaker, with reference to moving the new business. Now, would that be before receiving reports? Yes, Are we no, going in? Before, before. Okay, at this time, Mr. Speaker, I'm, I make a motion that we move new business. To number, it would be four. Okay. New business. And in that motion, I'd like to move that the joint action resolution entitled Resolution authorizing the chairman of the executive branch to obtain a $3 million unsecured line of credit from First Interstate Bank to provide funds for tribal land purchases and other economic development pro uh, projects be moved to the beginning of new business. So we have a motion on the floor. We have a second by Senator Stewart. Question, Question by Senator Not Afraid of the Bighorn District. Floor recognizes the Secretary of the House, Okro. Uh, need a point of clarification. Does that mean you're making a motion to move all of the new business? Thank you. Uh, before we go any further, I had spoken with uh, Senator Not Afraid that we'll be starting with new business with this joint action resolution. And then after that joint action resolution will be the next one in line would be the uh, recognizing the, with the support of Israel resolution continue from there and then stop and start at the top of the order of new business when you look at your agenda so the first item on the agenda this afternoon will be the joint action resolution for the line of credit and then following that will be the resolution recognizing the state of israel and then the rest of the new business will follow behind that so we have a motion on the floor by senator not afraid pertaining to that second by senator stewart and Question by Senator Not Afraid of the Bighorn District. So all those in favor to amending the agenda as so stated by Senator Not Afraid of the Lodge Rash District, raise your right hand. All those opposed? All those abstaining? Motion carries with a vote of 13 yes. Zero opposed, zero abstaining. So now the agenda will be starting with new business this afternoon at this time. Being that it is 12 o'clock noon, we will recess until 1 o'clock. And then when we come back out of recess and we start session this afternoon, then we will start with new business with a joint national resolution starting with 3.0 and then followed by the recognizing the state of Israel and then the rest of new business after that. So we'll be on recess until then.